Hey everyone, uh, in case you don't know by now, the Michael Phoenix founder and staff of the magazine. Uh, it's been a long, long week, but we're up here in New York City, and what you're looking at is the Hell's Kitchen Flea Market. Uh, it's only my third time up here in New York, and my first time, and I uh, normally go for the main drive to 5th, 5th Avenue that I have things to do on, um, but came up here for the for the Witch's Pop-Up Market, which is which there's a couple tents here in, in the flea market, but this thing is really cool. I mean, I've only been up here to New York, but one thing I learned about uh, coming down to Philadelphia is it's great to hit the tourist attractions, it's great that the museums and everything, but it's time I that myself and the magazine started showing you what the real side of the cities and towns outside of Lehigh Valley that we visit. What, you know, the true community, the true community, sense of community what the people are you know are really like what the what life is really like in these in these cities and towns um learned that you know uh last, last visit to philadelphia i think and right now seeing this up here in new york um that's what i'm gonna try and that's what i'm gonna try and do but this is this is your typical like really cool flea market you know um if you're new, most people have been to a flea market where you know you have people selling stuff jewelry wide variety wide variety of items and it's just really cool. It's, and these things, uh, like this flea market, like this, you know, as I'm working on SCP, you know, more and more people kind of showing up. It's a great way for people, you know, this is a great way for the people in the community to get together, especially on a gorgeous, nearly summer day like today. Um, that, you know, it's just, you know, for people to get together and just talk and kind of like just take a break from life and from life. And then, like places like up here in New York, it's also a great way to attract tourists. Seriously. Um, you know, everybody goes for Times Square, which I don't think I'll ever go to, um, you know, and everything up here in New York. But, you know, this is a great way to show off to tourists, to show off the local side and what the city, you know, what the city is really about and what the city is and what the city is really like. Um, you know, it's roughly about a city, about half a city block long, little, one or two city blocks. I apologize, I've only been up to New York three times and still get turned around and still have a lot to learn up here. But you know, you can take you can come out you can come here to, to the flea market if you're visiting here. And by the way, if you take the bus here, it's it's within a few blocks of the port of the port authority bus terminal. So if you take so if you come up here and spend the day here, especially like in the spring, summer, or fall, and you know, you can uh, you know when you walk and you're walking around it's only a couple blocks away from the Port Authority, so you don't have to worry about, you know, it's a long hike, and, you know, if you're taking, if you're taking, doing a round tr day trip, that, you know, okay, well, I won't be able to get to it because it's too far away, or I'll have to take, you know, the, or I'll have to take the tra public transportation, Uber, etc. No, this is within, within a short, uh, a real short walk of the bus terminal, so, you know, another cool, another cool aspect about this. Um, the Hell's Kitchen, I mean, this is so cool, I love this. You know, it's a new experience for me, I know, but, you know, you always get that rush from new experiences. But, again, this is, you know, things like this are a great way, if you're, if you're visiting a, play, a new area, to learn about the true sense of community, the, the people, and what, you know, what, what the city or town is, re is really like and is really about, and you know, how we get together and just enjoy life for a change. Take a break and enjoy life for a change. Please go to the Thanks to, to the Sponsors page. Please check out those people and business. Oh, by the way. The main reason why I came up here was I, I really wanted to uh, check out and introduce the magazine to um, the people that are involved with. There, there's a Witches and Pagan Street Festival coming up in July that the magazine will be covering one day. I don't care if it takes my last hour to do it. I must took my last hour to do this, um, to do today, the first of three stops. But the magazine will definitely be coming up here. I want to introduce the magazine to the people, excuse me, in the organization. And, you know, as soon as I walked up, uh, Ms. Ravenhawk, you know, she recognized me, uh, you, you know, and they're very, very, very cool, very friendly people. I highly recommend you come, you come up for that, you come here for that festival. Went to come here last year for it, couldn't do it. This year it's that very, very top, top priority. <clears throat> so please go to Thanks to Sponsors page. Check out those people and businesses, because without them, I couldn't afford it. They're the financial end, and they're, and, they're, and they're half the support of what keeps us going, what, and the ability to do all these really cool things, show you all these really cool things. 
to everybody out there, thank you so much for all the time, for the support and everything over the past five years between the Valley and Beyond, Silver, Vale City. You have no idea what it means to me. Every once in a while, I do take my own advice here. Take a break from the busy, hectic, chaotic life that you have, being called life. Enjoy with your family, friends, and take a break for yourself for reboot. And find, you know, find new, find new and cool things out there.